Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. I'm sure you all recognize this famous landmark in St. Louis, Missouri. We're standing in front of the arch, 630 feet tall, known as the Gateway to the West. But we're here for a much more environmental reason, to find out how St. Louis is also becoming known as the Gateway to better recycling. Let's find out how. These days, you're never too young to learn about the importance of recycling, especially here in St. Louis. You know, one of the first things we learn in school is numbers, and kids here at Rogers Elementary School are using math for a simple and intriguing process to learn which kind of plastic is recyclable. So we're collecting number five plastic because it is... At Rogers Elementary, high school students lead a program called Drive for Five to inspire local elementary students to find and collect reusable plastic treasure and send it to the local recycling center. So what we have them look for is, I tell them every time there's a triangle with a number in it. And what we want is a triangle with a number five in it and that's just what they search for when they're at the table. Start looking, see if you can find five. A lot of number five plastic is in all of their homes. It's in stuff they use pretty much every day. So they have pretty good access to it if they just clean it have it be dry and they'll put it in their bins and it's counted towards the grade. Obviously it's all about recycling, specifically number five plastic, which is very recyclable. However, is not a plastic that is high levels of recycling in the community. So this presents an opportunity for us to focus on number five with a drive for five with recycling. And these elementary students take what they learn home, in turn helping their families learn how to recycle number five and significantly increase the program's impact. Today, more than 90% of the plastic at many restaurants is PP or number five plastic. Improving collection and recycling can lead to packaging circularity, a major commitment of Anchor Packaging, one of North America's largest PP producers and the sponsor of Drive for Five. So we feel protecting food serves two purposes. One, it puts more food in people's bellies and less in landfills, and at the same time, minimizes the impact on the environment. Did you know that 20% of your daily carbon footprint comes from the food you eat? And almost half of our food is wasted, filling up landfills and creating methane gas as it decomposes. Today, over 53% of food is eaten away from home. This makes it more important than ever to improve the collection and recycling of number five food containers. To be truly sustainable, food packaging has to do two things. First, it has to prevent food waste by protecting and preserving the food. And secondly, it's got to offer a viable alternative after use. Polypropylene is a great solution in that regard because it's reusable and recyclable after many uses. One company committed to using sustainable packaging products is a familiar one, KFC. They're a big supporter of Anchor's Drive for Five initiative. You know, the carbon footprint of food is usually much higher than its packaging, sometimes hundreds of times higher. That's why it's very important to preserve the quality and freshness of food from farm to table with quality, sustainable containers like this one. Well, number five has been an evolution for us as a brand. Different plastics have different properties. So number five, which is polypropylene, it has a temperature profile that allows us to do hot and cold foods. So if you've got a food coming out at 180 or 160 degrees, whatever the, the food temperature set point is, you need something that can hold up. And polypropylene can do both. Another important factor in improving packaging sustainability is using more recycled content to produce it. Anchor Packaging partners with the company Ineos to make that happen. We've provided Anchor with polypropylene for almost 20 years now. 
And then where we're trying to make it even more sustainable is work on making the resin itself recyclable. That's the nice thing from the perspective of Ineos is that the same basic chemistry can make an enormously wide array of different products. For the winning Drive for Five team, collecting the most PP plastic means a cleaner environment, as well as a more personal prize to achieve in school. The goal, what they're after, more kind of tangibly, is they're competing against every grade level. First grade against second, against third, all the way through fifth grade, to bring in number five plastic from home. And while these kids enjoy competing, they're also bringing what they learn home teaching their families and friends, and improving PP recycling across their community. As this program continues to spread to more schools, this positive impact only grows. Why are we all here? Drive for five!